Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is June 30th, 2017. Taking a look at our current conditions, our solar wind speed is at 340.4 kilometers per second with a 6.1 density. Sunspot region AR2664 poses no threat for strong solar flares. Our KP indices are at 1. The 24-hour max is also at 1. And we look here at our SDO and the reason why everything is calm right now. We don't have any major or large coronal holes affecting Earth at this time. Everything is very quiet. And quickly, taking from spaceweather.com once again, a coronal mass injection left the sun on June 28th and is expected to reach Earth on July 2nd. NOAA forecasters estimate a 45% chance of geomagnetic storms when the CME arrives. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially in the southern hemisphere where winter darkness favors visibility. And taking a quick look at our weather, today it looks like we have an increased chance of storms that reach all the way from the New England area all the way down to the panhandle of Texas. So we're going to keep our eyes open today, but most of the country, especially the Midwest and the eastern part of the United States, We'll see rain today. Mari? Thanks, Jake. July 4th fireworks came early when a NASA Terrier-improved Malmute-sounding rocket was successfully launched at 4.25 a.m. Thursday, June 29th from the agency's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. During the eight-minute flight, 10 canisters about the size of a soft drink can were ejected into space, 6 to 12 miles away from the 670-pound main payload. The canisters deployed blue, green, and red vapor that formed artificial clouds from New York all the way to North Carolina. During an ionosphere, or aurora science mission, these clouds or vapor tracers allow scientists on the ground to visually track particle motions in space. There were over 2,000 reports and photos of the cloud sightings in areas from New York, California, Virginia, Maryland, and even Pennsylvania. Check out this Facebook page in the description below for additional photos. Back to you, Jake. All right, that's going to do it for today, folks. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.